All right, well, gas prices are easing up a little, grocery bills are not. And some neighborhoods, including Globeville, are considered food deserts, uh, deserts, making it very hard for families just to find the essentials. Jimmer 7's Micah Smith takes us to one farmer's market that's trying to ease that burden. Denver's Globeville, Hilaria Swansea neighborhoods aren't well known for fresh fruits and vegetables. It is considered a food desert. But thanks to the Huerta Urbana Farmer's Market, GES residents are getting their organic fix, no matter their income level. The pay what you can element was added um, in order to help with the affordability. Karen Bustillos is the farmer's market manager. Sí, todos los ran a program specialist with Focus Points Family Resource Center, the nonprofit that operates the market. So these are the market box. So a family gets $20? $20. dollars $20. Um, and you know, it's not just limited to that. If they do need extra help, we'll definitely give them more. But Bucio says where the Hermana is also providing long lasting resources. So our solution to that was um, create a program where we can teach the community how to grow their farm, how to start their business. We actually started it as a hobby. Um, just to spend time with my mom. Daisy Bustios and her mom started growing flowers with Huerta Urbana three years ago. Suddenly we just thought, you know, what if we could sell these? So we started making flower arrangements to sell. When Daisy isn't selling her arrangements, she's buying from fellow vendors. We're helping one another out. You know, it helps us just like getting fresh vegetables and fruits and then it's helped our business as well. Less than a year ago, Bucio says where the Urbana was serving 30 customers a week. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you. Right now, every Friday, I'm getting between 80 to 100, and um, that's been increasing every week as we go by. Bucio um, says at a time when affordable options are few, where the Urbana is providing a community based solution where everyone can contribute and in turn get what they need. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith. Denver 7.